um, good old Murphy, he decides that every time I get a cabaret, it must rain. And I wonder if that's because I don't find them particularly desirable. <clears throat> Unless, um, or oh, that sound. Uh -huh. Unless I'm going on a weekend cruise along the coast, then I think it's amazing. I just find them sort of impractical and you compromise on things like the rear leg room and space and of course boot space. So there, I get a niche market so, you know, each to their own there, but I'm not the biggest fan of ever owning one. This old goody. Gosh, so many heartbreaks to this. I already knew there was something inside of you. Go check out my C220D Cabriolet video that I did. This is obviously the beast version of that. So, why would people spend just over a million rand on such a car? Perhaps for the engine? which is a bi-turbo 3 litre V6 which produces 270 kilowatts of power and 520 newton meters of torque and it gets you from 0 to 100 in just 4.8 seconds you can have fun in this car if you switch this bad boy into sport mode which I shall do in just a second Sport Plus Love a firm in this car. Um, I don't find it particularly comfortable. And one of the issues that I do have with this Cabriolet, and having not me having spent over a million rand, but if I had just spent or like dropped a mill on this guy, is that it's very rattly. Um, everything sort of, sort of creaks and, and rattles, and it would bother me tremendously. I can hear this one in the back that's driving me mad. Really irritating the crap out of me. One thing for certain about this car is it really is beautiful. Um, and I took it over the Franchi Pass and stopping there to take photos and everything it's just so stunning it's a really 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 good looking car inside it's sporty see these bends um, and just thank god for things like heated seats and a little neck scarf here that keeps me warm in this winter so let's put the air scarf on maybe the heated seats as well This is where the air comes out. See the little fans in the back there. <laughs> like I said, as you can see it is raining so I can't take the top down. But I have filmed the top coming down and whatever. So you can see, you can see. Of course, it has like a fun factor about it. So if you have a mill to drop on fun, <laughs> you know, by all means. You could opt for something like, I mean, the competitors would be something like maybe the BMW 440i, but of course this has more power. Um, it's rear wheel versus all wheel drive. So, you know, that depends on what you prefer. There is one thing that really bothers me about something like a car like this when you spend this much money is you cannot open the boot from outside unless you've got the remote the remote um, you can open it inside here with a boot lever but there's no external way of opening the boot it's a pain in the ass so I've always got to like find the key or whatever painful AMG is basically more accessible to more accessible to those you know it's like a entry-level AMG if you will 
if you can't afford the C63, then you go for this bad boy. Um, and I think that you would be quite satisfied. Um, I can't justify spending a million rand on a car, let alone on a cabriolet, regardless of the engine. Um, it's just not practical enough for me. But if you want the style, you could get the 220D carry that I spoke about for a couple of hundred thousand rand less. So, depends on if you want the performance or not. I wish I had a little microphone on the exhaust for you. I mean, just for that, just for that, I suppose I would want to buy the car.